long story short, uh, guy I work with knew I was a collector, so he uh, offered me up a box of his son's childhood toys. I guess, you know, his son's probably like in his 40s now, maybe, I would believe. They're just going to sit in a box and never get seen again, so he figured, uh, I guess, get him to a new home. Uh, it was a box and a bigger item. The big item I got to get a good look at, and it's pretty cool. And some of the box contents are uh, really good gems, so I figured I'd share a little bit and uh, just dig into it right off the bat because I mean, some of this stuff's cool. We'll get into some of the, uh, you know, little odds and ends first off, like Popeye and uh, olive oil. Little Bendem figures. Pretty cool. They look pretty old. Pretty faded. Not, like, not so faded, but pretty decent. Little Bendems. He doesn't, uh, doesn't exactly have the uh, bend in his legs anymore, but yeah, those are pretty cool. Random boxed item. It's always good to get a set of something. You know, I'm sure there's more like maybe Bluto and Wimpy and, you know. But yeah, those are pretty cool. Keep moving on. I uh, found this random, random horse that I uh, could not find his rider in the box. But it works out because there is a rider in that box. Random Woody. Well, it says Walt Disney World, but it also says Kellogg's on the back, too. So I'm thinking he was a little prize in a cereal box, maybe. But uh, his hat's a little his hat's a little wanged up. Otherwise, he's uh, pretty cool. Get on his horse and, uh, you know, ride off. Just random uh, Woody and a random horse that just uh, work together. Very good. Random, uh, random Shark Boy. Yeah, just very random Shark Boy. Little fin. Little fin goes. Probably the uh, the newest figure that's in this box, I would assume. Just yeah, just very random. Shark Boy from uh, Lava Girl and Shark Boy or. Vice versa, I don't know what the name of the movie is. But, uh, yeah. Just random. Looks like he, uh, might have lit up at one point when you, uh, press this, but those days are long gone. He's not lighting up. Yeah. Any fans of the A-Team? There you go. B-A and, uh, Face. I believe these are Galoob. From Galoob. Pretty sure these are Galoob. Yeah, pretty cool. Decent condition. Maybe BA's a little banged up, but he's got all his blingage. Pretty cool. Face still has his, like, accessory belt. I don't know if he would have had, like, a, look like a jetpack or something. Maybe he was just strapped. I don't know. Pretty cool. BA's, uh, I guess his eyes aren't too faded out. Yeah, I guess the paint jobs are still pretty good. Decent. Decent. I mean, you're missing, we're missing Hannibal and Murdoch, but, you know, two of the four ain't bad. Random specimen, uh, try to, like, maybe break away and find some info on this guy. I literally could not find anything. I thought he was, like, a wrestling figure, because he looks like Paul Orndorff. Anyone? No, Paul? I think he looks like Paul Orndorff. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, yeah, then he looks like he has, like, gauntlets on. And then on further inspection, I don't believe these are his, uh, his, uh, trousers. Because it looks like he has, like, a loincloth on. Like, feather loincloth. So he's like a, like a barbarian? Is he a, like, I don't know. Could not find anything on this toy line. He doesn't have any markings anywhere on him. Yeah, I'm very lost. Like I said, I thought it was a wrestling figure. Or, like... Like a knockoff He-Man. I don't know. Leave a comment maybe if you uh, if you know who the flump this guy is, huh? 
All right, now we're getting into some good looking stuff. Get, uh, let's get good old Bo Duke out of the way. Them Duke boys and me go figure. Uh, I feel like this is not the shirt he came with. Why does this look like, like this would have been on like a totally different, like, like karate kid or something. What, this does not look like it belongs with him. Still got his cool belt buckle. Uh, more or less if they're in, I mean, in good condition, you know, and if you found all his pieces, like, I don't think that's his shirt, like, need a new shirt, and someone stole his boots, but, I mean, yeah, pretty cool, Migos, always a good, uh, find in a random box, but then we have these guys, oh my goodness, was I glad to see these guys, let me show off good old Robin first. He has seen better days, but I mean, he still has his utility belt. He still, I mean, he still got the, the kicks. I'm sure most people would have lost these little things, and they're in decent condition. The rest of his gear, besides his buttons ripping, I'm sure those never held up. He still got his cape. His cape's in decent condition. Just his face is so faded. I don't. Definitely not sun damage. I don't know what would have did that. I think just maybe uh, the plastic they use because he's kind of sticky. He's got that old toy stickiness to his head. Like, but yeah, I guess he's in decent condition considering. And then, what would a boy wonder be without the Batman? Also, still very decent condition. Missing his emblem, which is upsetting, but still has his utility belt, still got still got the boots. I mean I think he probably had gloves, he's missing his gloves and yeah, so just the gloves and the emblem. I mean looking pretty pretty slick. The cape's still in decent condition. Yeah, I mean dang son. I actually don't think this is the cape he came with. It feels like maybe someone Maybe, I don't know. It might be his cape. I'll have to do some more uh, online research for that. But then we have this guy. Super, super cool. Was pumped to see him in there. Uh, yeah, super, super cool, man. The only thing he's missing is his little booties. They all got their boots, but not the Joker. Someone stole my boots, Batman. Are you going to stop them? No, I'm sorry, Joker. I can't. Because you're a douche. <laughs> These are... Mego Corporation. Because they also not only put out the big Migos, but... They also put out... Little playset type Migos. M more action figure -y type... We have Batman and Robin. For some reason, Robin looks ten times taller. He is taller. Look at this. I just now... Look at that. He's super tall. But these are cool. Very faded, of course. You know. They were played with. Oh, they were played with. But all in all, decent condition for... You know how old they are? Saying The capes are still... See, I'm sure most of these tore off and ripped and did not hold up, but a little figure bath and these guys will clean up pretty nicely. Plus, I'm, the Batmobile too, in this, it's, it's in really good, whoa, Batman. It's in real good condition. I mean, stickers, like even like, I mean, the hub cap, caps aren't even that like faded off, you know? Like, look at that. A little dusty. Make a good clean, but yeah. That is cool. And now I show them last because the big item that he gave me, the big piece to the whole spiel. And I was super excited about it. Okay. So when he walked in with this box, this thing...
the Bat Cave, the Mego Bat Cave. So that Batman and that Robin would have went with this set. Even still has the Bat Cave door. Hinges are busted off, but something that might be fixable. Man, if you had a 3D printer, boom. But yeah, it would have stuck on the back air. Would be able to roll it in like that. I don't think that uh, this fire pit is a piece of it. I'm pretty sure that's not. You know, I don't know what the. Yeet! Was that? You know. A loose. The only sticker that has fallen. Well, there's two stickers that fell off of this. This is one of them. I have to find what the other one looked like online. Possibly, you know, if you had like a decent printer, you could probably reprint, you know, stickers. They even sell sticker paper. You know, you could definitely reprint these, but go a little bit more handheld. I mean, look at this. Those stickers are pretty well off, actually. Just coming up a little bit on the ends there. But otherwise, decent. That sticker either came off of this one or the one next to it. Even a little, but it's tape. I mean, it's been taped back on. But even the little, the little key for the little jail cell, the lock up Joker, is still there. Like, look, yeah. Decent condition stickers. Fire poles missing. But uh. I mean, that's super cool. You know, like I said, you get a little, you know, printer, like, you know, you probably print these new out and stick them back in. Be cool. But, I mean, come on. That's super cool. And for, basically, you know, a box just given to me, you can't be happier as a collector. You know? Alright, guys, thanks for, uh, joining me on this uh, little random unboxing. It's always cool to be gifted cool things, you know. And uh, sure, clean up a lot of these and give them a good home. I know another couple, I know, I know other collectors that would be happy to get some of these. And yeah, hopefully I can clean them up and, you know, put them out there to the collecting world. You know, I might keep a couple, you know, but uh, all will go to good homes with no doubt so if you like the video uh you know help me out by like sharing subscribing maybe you know uh you'd help a help a creator out um yeah but i hope everyone has a good day and uh maybe hope to see you next time peace